Good evening, everybody. We are back. Uh, we are going to be playing a little bit more The Plucky Squire, um, which has thus far been amazing. here on behalf of the people of Mojo. We've come to come to take back this land. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see. Well, if the mouse says so, then I will have to give it some serious consideration. Okay, I've seriously considered. The answer is that's seriously not happening. Oh, that's different. Could try Targ. Or tra a Thrash. Let us go, Humgrub. Haven't you done enough harm? To Mojo? To your own brother? Where does that end? Well, I'd say that this story ends here. But not the tale about me. Oh, no, no, no. That still has many magnificent chapters still to be written. Rather, the one about the peppy protégés of my wonderful brother. Among them, the plucky squire. Didn't you used to be someone? You were quite the starring character around these chapters. Funny how things can change from a hero to has-been in a turn of a page. I will so enjoy giving your tale, all of your tales, a fitting ending. You see, you do so irritate me. Your youth, your entitlement, your potential. It will be a pleasure to end that potential right here and now. I will burn you alive just like I did. Whoa. Why does that look like his brother? Ah, fast asleep. Nap time for the grumpy baby. Yo. Now let's see what we can do about this nasty magical cage. The ghost of Moonbeard. But how? I thought you were... were gone. Was that so? The little twerp humdrum zapped me. And vaporized me into a cloud of ink. <laughs> oh, rather undignified, I must say. That seems it. In my cloudy form, I floated wispily through the room until I finally landed on a sheet of ultra-absorbent kitchen roll. <laughs> and through a little magic, found myself reformed. Uh, 
as you got reform me, it was very the very potion that we cooked up together in my lab. The potion of rebinding. I'm very glad that I drank that concoction and saved my life. <laughs> I'm just glad I could have glad I could have helped. Your assistance has been essential, Violet. All of you. What's with a new look, MB? Ah, Thrash, you know, it's a funny thing. When I was reformed, the pigments of my ink were dissolved, leaving me utterly colorless. I am a I am classic Moonbeard no more. Now I am Moonbeard the White. Oh, <laughs> Moonbeard the Monochromatic. I was thinking going from like Gandalf the Grey to Grand Gandalf the White. Rad, you look pretty metal. And Minibeard? Why has he got that colorless look? That little dude went up through all this too? No, nothing happened to him. Just changed outfits. <laughs> Page, the bookworm helped me on my way. Good old Page. Anyway, I'm back now, and from the looks of Grim's antics, not a moment too soon. So you're back, silly brother of mine. You won't be able to protect your pretty little students. Not from me. For I control reality itself. Space, time, it's all mine. Time to demolish your wretched pets. Oh my. The Mega Eagle. It seems rather annoyed. Descending upon our heroes with a combative cry. Thrash twirled his drumsticks and got ready to rumble. Violet readied her wand. It was time to get magical.
Ah, darn it. Just seems rather annoyed. Huh. Jot prepared for a dust up. there. Yikes. The end. Jock dusted himself off and arose to fight once more. That's right.
a good fight, little whelps. But I was merely playing with you. Time to get serious. staff in his grubby hands, he'll always be able to pull some kind of mischief. This time he's left straight out of our world. Jot, this is the job for the plucky squire. You must follow Hungrum out of the book and put a stop to him before he becomes all-powerful. What hangs in the balance is the fate of this book and the entire outside world. No pressure. <laughs> Go get him, lad. Good luck out there. We believe you can do it. Trarg speed, dude. Let's do it. Oh my. in the rain of explosive green fireballs. I mean, it's quite exciting. Is it time to save the galaxy again? Let's do this. Ooh!
I got him. Oh, we're good in scam. Anything. It's craziness. You know, you gave that one a right good bop, blasting brilliant job, both of you. Shaving up to be quite the intergalactic heroes. Now, young warrior, best return to your home.
Jot. Dude. Amazing work, lad. And he is banished. Perhaps it will give him time to finally reflect on things. Nope. And good riddance to you. Your Majesty. You're all okay. I'm so happy to see you. Likewise, Your Majesty. Mural and I have been imprisoned in this miserable place for oh, so, oh for so long. But just now, Humgrove's troops, they began to panic, to scatter. I can feel somehow that wizard's dark power has dissipated. Just so, your highness. Jot defeated Humgrump and destroyed his metamagic staff. That greasy weasel's power is gone. Jot, how can I thank you enough? Once again, the land is indebted to its champion. Violet, Thrash, Pip, they all stood up in Mojo's time of need. They all did their part. You became the warriors that Moonbeard knew you'd become. I'm proud of you all. Now then. This guy has this creepy palace. We have a land to rebuild. Young ones, lead the way. And so, after battling Humgrump's remaining army, the forces of good reclaimed the land of Mojo and brought peace back to the land. Artia Castle was restored to its former glory, and the people of Mojo came from far and wide to gather at the town. Oh yeah, here we go. Celebrating their freedom with a marvelous party. <gasps> Taking a break from the revelry, Jot noticed something. Oh. A robed figure standing near the entrance to the castle. He made his way over there to investigate. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps. And here we are, the legendary plucky squire himself. What an absolute honor to finally meet you. Ah, but I can see you're thinking. Who's this weird road robed chap? Well, since no one else is around, I think I will. It's only polite that I show my face. <laughs> we meet again, Jot. You remember me, don't you? The last time we met was in prehistory. You were me. Mani manically dodging lava bombs, as I recall. I believe I may have mentioned I am a time traveler. But what I didn't mention is that I'm actually from your future. And in that future, I'm the main character in a series of books just like you. Quite popular books, I must add. With very lucrative merchandising tie-ins and brand integrations. I came back to your time to watch you and your friends on your historic adventures. You didn't disappoint the way you showed that hubgrub what for. Pow. Utterly sensational. I've also come to give you the, a message from the authors of author of my book. You wanted to let you know that you, Violet, Thrash, Pip, Moonbeard have all been great inspiration to him. When he doubts himself and he needs to be brave, he knows what the right thing to do is, even though it's hard. Or when he needs to think of a creative way out of a tough spot, he remembers the plucky squire and his friends. And the way forward reveals itself. Now I've said what I needed to say, and I've seen what I wanted to see. I must be going.
until we meet again, Lucky Squire. Somewhere in the time stream. Gnarly. So, um, I know this was probably a really short dream for me, but um, I'll do my outro on this. I, I want to wait until the end of this because I, I just have this gut feeling that there's going to be something else to do. Um, amazingly cute game, um, good controls, some really fun puzzle solving stuff. Um, definitely family friendly um, the music I love it I love that that sound it's it's a step above a step above folksy but it's um, it's got a real charm to it um, that I really like I'm, I'm big on music but uh, the animation style is really cute the premise is really cute having it be a, a you're playing a kid's story. Uh, fun. Um, the puns and the the pop culture references are amazing. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely worth the money to, to purchase on any platform that you can buy it on. Definitely worth the playthrough. Um, wasn't like extremely challenging, uh, even you know, even at its hardest moments. Um, it's just a matter of picking up the picking up the patterns and, and working with them. But um, oh my goodness, yeah, I've, I'm highly highly impressed with this game. Um, overall rating, um, let's let's just go through animation style, nine out of ten. Uh, music, ten out of ten. It's amazing. Um, even the even the techno mixes they got on this thing is are pretty pretty intense. Um, controls nine out of ten. Um, what else can we talk about? So we talked about the story is amazing. Uh, a good eight point five out of ten. Overall, I would give this a at 9.4 9 at 10 um, just don't let the, the, the look of the game fool you it is absolutely worthy of your time but that's that um, 
definitely will play it again probably at some point. Anything else? That's it. It was time to begin an adventure. Oh, okay. So there's not really... Alright, well that's that. Um, I'm going to take a quick moment to reset. That was a really short stream, but I'm going to take a quick moment to reset, and I will be back in a little bit, um, hopefully with some pajamas on, to play something else. We'll see what's up next. Alright, take care.